Hi everyone, Phyllis Serene here with PhyllisRaleigh.com. Wanted to explain what an oracle is and why I have taken on that job for the remainder of my years on uh, Gaia to um, do it. And interesting for me, it started with watching uh, the movie The Matrix. And I heard about the author of The Matrix was uh, an African-American woman who wrote the script for not only The Matrix, but The Terminator. And I wanted to interview her and talk to her and understand, wait, well, tell me the storyline behind that. Um, and as I was able to chat with her and learn about her story, she identified as a seer and as one who just wrote what she saw. And she wrote the part of the oracle for herself. But one of the things I want you to remember that I think was the key of that storyline is if you remember over the kitchen door, she had a phrase which all the oracles have used, know thyself. And my work has really been in the area of um, transpersonal psychology, or, and I identify as a transpersonal dynamics specialist, using different modalities to understand yourself. So I've worked as an executive recruiter or a headhunter for many years and as a career coach and author of three books on career development um, and career coaching uh, services uh, for many years. And what I've learned from that using different psychometric tools like Princeton Review or Strong's or Myers-Briggs that are, many of us are familiar with is that you really take past experiences to predict future behavior. And so understanding those tools were kind of common for my work and using it to place people in the jobs, finding out what are you good at, what do you love, and then go do that. Well, when I looked at that know thyself piece, I went, yes, that resonates with me because you're never going to be happy in a job that you hate. And if you're doing it just for the money, it's just like a short-term leash of choking yourself. So in advising people, it was, how do you find the career that's right for you? And it was, well, find out what you're good at, find out what you love. And then I started to look at the older systems, realize there's over 40 different types of astrology systems on the planet. So we're all mostly familiar with Western astrology. Uh, the Mayans have an astrology system that really looks at purpose for incarnating. The Vedic astrology, or from the Ayurvedic uh, or Indian culture, can look at a timeline, 125 years of your timeline. But even more tools like human design combines six different systems, the I Ching, the Kabbalah from the Jewish uh, mysticism tradition, the chakra system, uh, Western astrology as well, neutrino science, and quantum physics. And it allows you to look at yourself, what I call the owner's manual for this body and this lifetime. But my work is specifically looking at how do we incorporate all of these systems that I have worked with in the past and use them to fuel our own dreams and our purpose for being here. So initially it's know the purpose, why are you here? And then um, get that owner's manual for yourself and look at how can you avoid frustration and bitterness and those tripping over your own mistakes over and over again. Third, looking at your memories and understanding your past lives. A lot of our past lives are repeated in learning the same lesson. If we don't learn it in this lifetime, what the Dalai Lama says, pray you live a long time so that you can learn all the lessons in this life and you don't have to repeat them again. So you want to look back at uh, previous lives that may have been hindrances. There's a scripture in the Bible that says we carry the sins of our fathers through up to seven generations. That's, as modern science has said, affects our DNA. So trauma in our lineage will be passed down to us. And so there are ways to clear it, but sometimes you gotta know what it is and why those things are happening. So we look at past life um, regressionists and work with hypnotists to help you do that kind of work. And then finally, where do you wanna go? What is the dreams that you wanna fulfill? The minds use a formula for what our purpose here is on the earth, and it is time, 
multiplied by energy, our effort equals art. That we're all here to create art. It is a beautiful, amazing planet. It's an art sphere, if you will, that constantly creates. Just look at nature, at the constant exploration of flowers, just simply flowers, that the varieties that are there. There's never enough. We can never get tired of flowers. Okay, maybe if you work in the flower market, you might get a little burnt out. But for us uh, laymen, we enjoy the beauty of color and variety, and that's what we are as the species. Individual color and variety as humans. Hue, H-U-E, means color. It's a shade. So we are those expressions of variety and color. So my job as the Oracle is to help you discover you, your best you, and live the formula for being a, a good human, enjoying life. The other thing you want to focus on is how do we connect and get uh, information directly from the source. Many of us don't have telekinesis or psychokinesis skills or clairvoyant or clairessence skills. They're, they're, we are all capable of them, and the way of doing that is first by grounding, getting on the earth, taking your shoes off and getting your feet in the soil, which is where healing comes from. The second area is hearing from the source directly, and that is the sun and learning how to solar gaze. It is easy to do the first 45 minutes of the morning or the last 45 minutes of the day. You can safely gaze at the sun without damaging your eyes. It is a process and I have another video on how to silver gaze that you might want to start with to learn how to do that. And third is water. We are 80% water. We are a water planet. We are all about the water. So learning to A, continue having it flow through your body, speak to the waters. I say listen to the sun, speak to the waters, and connect with the earth. Waters are healing and they are a communication device. So anytime you are in a body of water, speak to those waters. Ask those waters to bring its healing abilities to you, as well as the earth, and listen to the sun. There's one of my favorite little videos, uh, excuse me, one of my movies, um, City of Angels, when there's a scene when all the angels are at the beach in the first thing in the morning, and they're all gazing at the sunrise. And I re remember that as, hey, they're all checking in and going into the source to get that information. The easiest way to be a channel for yourself and hearing uh, directly from the source is to get out and watch the sunrise. It is an active meditation speak to the waters when you're in them, when you're consuming them, and have them be the healing that you need so it aligns your body up and you're retuning and realigning and connect with the earth. Get your feet in the ground and connect so that you can be grounded in your thoughts. Namaste, y'all.